the great need of industry, as long as it's based on fossil fuel and machines that run best around the clock, is that people consume around the clock, that they convert their resources into consumption, and the credit system arises so that it's, when they've exhausted their resources, they can still they can mortgage their time. So, so the, the, the enemy of this is, is a life defined by values, a life defined by possessions or prestige is wonderfully predictable. Hence, these infinite gradations that schools divide, for the kids' own good, of course, uh, into classes, and then you divide the classes into the favored and the disfavored and the people on the edge. You mount the papers of the favored over and over again. This not only convinces most of the kids not even to bother to compete, but it does something wonderfully important that the Prussians understood as well as Julius Caesar did. It divides children, young people from their natural allies, and it, 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 it refocuses their attention on the giver of benefits. Now, one year, two years, that'll work on many people, but 12 years over and over and over again, and the people who, who escape slightly, you've got another four or five. As a matter of fact, I saw in yesterday's paper that the average American college student takes six years to graduate. So you've got another six years work, and then of course if they go to graduate school, and those are the people who are assigned the, uh, the intermediary role of, of watching the population. I'm sure that, that this isn't a conscious thing, but to see where deviance occurs and then logging the deviance in a tabular a statistical form so that the deviant can be isolated from, from management, for one thing, and also isolated from people who could be influenced. 